Morning people, welcome back to F Politics. This is a message specifically for Kay Burley, because you're a journalist, right? Like you've been doing journalism at Sky News for longer than I've been alive, so you know if the politician that you're interviewing has an agenda, is trying to shoehorn in a specific message. You can pick that up, right? Like what happened this morning. We've got a, a representative liberal democracy, which you and I are very proud of and, and, and defend. There are some people who would seek to overcome that representative liberal democracy far from appropriate in a, in a representative uh, system like ours. But by the way, it's another great strength of our representative liberal democracy that not all representative liberal democracies have. That's the way that, that's the way that we have democratic decision-making in this country. So okay, Tory MP Damien Hines there just called our system of government representative. He said that our decision-making process was democratic. He called us a representative liberal democracy four times to your face, including once where he said to you that you agree that we're a representative liberal democracy. So he was clearly pushing a narrative and even invited you to agree with him. And you said nothing, nothing at all despite that entire narrative being objectively untrue. Calling the UK a representative democracy when a party with only 44% of the vote has 56% of the seats in parliament and can do whatever they want without having to even talk to the other parties is just mathematically wrong. Because that means the majority of votes in the UK have no effect on public policy. So you can't call that representative or democratic. Which means that Kay, you listened to a government politician spewing rhetoric about a clearly false agenda and you said nothing to correct him. And it's not like you can even hide behind public opinion because the public doesn't think this is a representative democracy either. Because the polls have consistently shown for years that the public would prefer a more proportional system where the seats in parliament match the votes of the people. And as for our democracy being liberal, you do remember when Jacob Rees-Mogg came out on stage and said the Tories were deliberately trying to rig elections by suppressing votes? Parties that try and gerrymander end up finding that their clever scheme comes back to bite them, as dare I say we found by insisting on voter ID for elections. And that led to 14,000 people being blocked from voting at the last local election. So please, next time a politician tries to tell you that we're a representative liberal democracy, just say something. I'm Femi. Make sure you follow F Politics or Politics as an F you. Have a great week.